as I observed yesterday, it is one year on, one year on from the beginning of the parliamentary protest, which at the end of the day is now receding into history. The grass is growing back on Parliament's lawn. But I look back a year on, and I did a little Twitter poll on my personal Twitter account yesterday, which is still running, and it said, if you took part in the Parliament protest 12 months ago, how do you feel now? And I gave three options, proud, ashamed, or still confused. Um, For a Twitter poll, this isn't bad. We've had 1,764 votes so far, and 78% of people say they feel proud. Only 11% say they feel ashamed and 11% are still con- uh, confused. It has had 111 comments and 33 shares. Um, so it may have been a year ago, but it is still live. And I thought today I would say to everyone who took part in that protest, let's look at what has happened in the year since. And were you a river of filth or did you have a point? Because a year on... Jacinda Ardern is no longer the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Trevor Mallard is banished to Dublin and is no longer the Speaker of Parliament, the man who turned those taps on. Mandates are gone. COVID vaccination, uh, public information or propaganda campaigns uh, are gone. And as of yesterday, the new Labour Prime Minister basically took the axe, took the blowtorch, the flamethrower to the hate speech laws, to the TV and ZRNZ merger, to, um, well, he gave everyone a minimum wage rise, a biofuels mandate gone, um, and Three Waters will watch that space because Labor's Māori caucus is a difficult thing to negotiate with. But so I would say to everyone who witnessed or took part in the protest a year ago, maybe, just maybe, over time, we will look and say the people on the front lawn of Parliament, though there were some troublemakers uh, and near dwells amongst them, maybe they had a point. And a year on, much of what they wanted and called for and demanded seems to have come to pass. Isn't that interesting?